Well, fast forward to the day that we thought would never come. Look what came back today. El Cranco is balanced. So, we've come round to the uh, natural home of the LS in Birmingham, Craig's workshop, surrounded I'm by... Birmingham? Where? England? You're England. going to claim to be the best in England? I want to say I'm the best, but probably the longest. Or done the most, maybe. <laughs> longest LS man in England. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. Well, one of them, anyway. That's yeah, yeah. Cool. We're surrounded by TVR that's having a supercharged LS2. LS3. LS3 RX7 for you, all you RX7 rotary purists out there. LT4 RX7. LT4 RX7. What's that one? Genuine feel car, is it? Feed. It's a feed. feed car. From here. Feed car. Straight from Japan. Rotary in the bin. LT in. Uh, RX8 in the corner for more rotary lovers. And. V8 uh, uh, though. Well, no, but yeah. you know, we're throwing the rotary away where it belongs. Of course. And a TVR having the rubbish bit taken out. And a LS3 in that? Yeah, LS3. So, block is on the stand. Bits are scattered around the floor and bench and stuff, and we're gonna put this thing together. Well, first job is gonna be, we're gonna put the cam in first. Yeah, if you, if you put the cam in first and then just let that, the mains will dribble, dribble through to it. Um, if there is any issue with like um, the, the cam tunnel or the bearings or anything, if you need to fix that, it's just easier with the crank out. So those um, bearings are perfect. Yeah, well, absolutely. But some people, some put the crank in first. I've seen some people put the pistons in and put the crank in. It's just, it doesn't really matter. It's personal preference. I guarantee you'll be doing it wrong. Well, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is the way we're going to do it, and it's going to be perfectly yeah. fine. So, I mean, the things with these engines, they are quite simple. I mean, yeah, I mean, let, let's not pretend we're dealing with a Formula One engine here. No, you this know, is in, a rattly old pushrod V8. You know, and I'm not, I'm not an engine blueprinter. We just put engines together. You know, if you want it properly blueprinted, that then go to a specialist Take it to the man. Know, and pay the bill. But these go together fairly easily. They, they seem to work, and job done really. Make some power. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, put some stuff in. Well, that went in easy enough. Lovely and smooth. So, there we go. Cam is attached. And for anyone that didn't watch the first one, that's a Brian Foley uh, Stage 2 Turbo. So, there, gonna make some power. What's next, Craig? Uh, mains. So, all clean. Just yeah, so like that. Watch this, and we'll smash the cap, uh, smash the crank in, I guess. Got a crank in there, lovely. Put some mains in. Look at that. What are we doing, Craig? Just using a bit of engine oil on the, on the yeah, studs. Yeah, um, engine oil on the studs. And, um, you know, these aren't anything fancy. This is not an AR. The standard kit. bolts, that, yeah, yeah, I mean. Standard. I've always used engine oil on, because it alters the torques. So I've always used engine oil on standard bolts. And, and do them up and uh, I've done a few LSs over the years. Probably like 60 plus, like that, maybe. I don't know. A few. A few. 61 now. Yeah. Got a crank in. Mains are done up. 
just putting the cross bolts in. So you've got a bit of thread sealant, did you say? Yeah, this? you always put a bit of seal on these because these the main caps are the, the porous. You, when you do them up, you sometimes see oil coming out of the actually out of the metal. It's quite bizarre how porous they are. So you just put a little bit of sealant on the thread, and they come with it patched on from new, but this ain't new, so you can use lock tight and stuff like that. But just we've got this. This stuff's using. pretty good. It's just it says ARP on it. It's it must be good. It was probably just very expensive. Yeah. So, and also almost empty. It's probably the one I bought from Ford. Just done over and I left it around here. Maybe. Cam Tom is simple. You got a, a um, tooth there with a dot on it. Tooth there with a dot on it. What I'm going to do is put the cam wheel on, get it top dead up and up, then you can just hook the chain on. Um, if you hook that on then into the right place, doing it a bit cash angry there, but uh, around the tooth, and then that should just, just go in on like that. that. I mean, Bolts in. magic in it. No timing tools. No, no tension, nah, nothing. No, That's nothing. It. Just, ah, oh, everything's a waste of time. Why did they even bother? Can you imagine timing the V10 up? I, I'd rather not. I, you know, I just no. You can see by the boxes and boxes of new parts that we yeah. keep opening. If my you cheap, wouldn't be, cheap engine. We, we do have an engine room, but it's full of other engines, so we are literally doing this in the workshop. So yeah, but yeah, as I was saying, my cheap engine isn't that cheap anymore. Now everything's brand new. But you know, I'm not the kind of guy that can just I don't know. It just upsets me if I if it doesn't feel right in my head. So so always important. You must pack these with grease. If you've got one like that, they do not pick up oil pressure. Right. Just I know some people just start them and rev them, and they do, but no. So pull it apart, pack it with Vaseline, otherwise it's a really, really bad day out. <laughs> okay, we'll do that then. That looks nicely packed now. Yeah, just need to get it back into original position in the middle, so just pack it there. We just use Vaseline, I mean, I don't know, you know, people, are, some people use some stuff, some others, but... But that would be wrong. Probably, but... <laughs> It's what I've always been taught to use and it's... Well, it does the job. And it, it's oil soluble, so it's fine. Yeah, beautiful. So nicely packed for that. Get the lid on. Put it together. Right, so we're installing the oil pump. What yeah. are we feeling for? You put a feeler gauge into the pump to make sure you've got the clearance on the pump. That's fine. Well, it's got no choice, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, it's a slight bit of movement on them, but that's fine, so. Okay. Cool. Finish talking that. I've done well tonight. I just wheeled the thing round here, got a cup of tea, and. Yeah, and, and, and an ice cream. And I got, yeah, I got a nice choc ice as well, and um, just basically just Craig's just taken over. But I want to get home before, you know. Well, yeah, it's time, fine, so. Um, I did warn the missus I'll be late tonight. Yeah. So if we get the front and rear covers on, that will... We'll call that tonight then, Yeah, we? pistons okay. and rods and then... Yeah, I, got, I guess building the pistons onto the rods is going to take a bit of time. What pick, what um, circlips are they? Oh, are they spiral it? locks? I think, I don't know, we'll have a look. If they are, I'm going to watch you try and do them. Cool. So, so we've run into the first little problem of the night, haven't we? Yeah. No, you can not it. So, so, whatever this kit is... Mal. Mal. Just part number there. 953562 is meant to Which come with... Stu bought one for his car. I mean, they're like a generic cheap kit, but they're not... Cheap, they're, 175 well, quid. But they're decent, they're quite convincing. But Stu's yeah. come, no rear, main, no rear cover sale. We thought, oh, just the main mistake or something. Yours is the same. Yeah, no, no, rear, no rear cover. And they all run a gasket. Yeah. Apart from LSX, which is O-ring, but that's that's different completely. So, Mark will need to check their packing. It says on the list, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it's on the list. I think it's, it's supposed to be absolutely everything. Yeah. 
I mean, it comes with loads of stuff you don't, you know. Yeah, it, loads of stuff I'm about to throw it'll, away. It'll cover for a lot of cars, but no rear cover gasket, so. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. But anyway, luckily Craig's got one, so we can, we can carry on with that for the night. So, yeah, watch this, front and rear cover. There's a, there's a knack to align in these, isn't there? Uh, a tool I've, well, I've made tools. Basically, what you have to do, um, this is like, that fits into the, into the cover. It does fit in, it's a bit tight. Um, and it fits over the crank. So basically it aligns it perfectly. You have to get level the sump as well. Because um, if you get it off centre, you, you, your um, seal can't cope and it will leak. Okay. So there's no dowel holes in these or anything really. So you basically put that in and then pop it out. The same on the front, that goes in, fits over the crank and just acts as a... Um, alignment. Just an alignment tool. Just like, you can buy these, I, I just made them, it's just easier. So Cool, let's get that done need. then. And go home. Oh, well, that's the tool we were talking about. Inserted to centre it. Next thing is you can get the uh, sump rail a little bit out of line so do our best to um, even that up. Put a bit of sealer in there and in the corners because last thing you want is a leaky sump gasket. It'd be, it'd be like a Ford then I guess wouldn't it? <laughs> so. All over. Oh what sorry? All over for the old people out oh, there. Oh steady on. <laughs> anyway that's what we're talking about let's do it up. Shame that orange doesn't match, though. I just... Uh, I've got nothing. Oh, wow. It's starting now, all these tailors are coming out. What have you got there? Oh, I like those sticks. He's good at hiding them. We can open a pack in his pocket. Can ya? Is that from school? Napoleon, give me some of your tarts. No, go find your own. There we go, what time is it? Nearly half seven, not too bad. And we have a crank in the engine, a cam in the engine. Front and back covers are on. It's just getting gooped up a bit more. Yeah, so we've, we've packed the oil pump, done all that, so. We'll call that tonight. It's gonna to be sitting, it's not gonna be running for a little while, so just, well, we'll yeah. get the pistons, everything in, then it can all be sealed up and lubed and get the car over and get it built. That's the spirit. Okay, thank you very much. See you tomorrow, I guess. Fast forward a few days later, back round at Craig's for another evening of excitement. Uh, spent a bit of time last night building up all the rods and pistons, so they're ready to go in now. Sump is ready to go on, so all that's left is Smash the uh, smash the pistons in the boards, do the rods up, and call it a completed bottom end. You get the idea. We'll do the rest on our own. So, all the rods and pistons are now in their new homes. Um, instead of just talking the rod bolts up like you would normally, you know, that'd be nice. But this kit doesn't come with a torque rating. It's either torque it and then add some degrees or stretch the bolts. And since Craig's got the official ARP tool for measuring bolt stretch, that's what we're gonna do. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, like a torque wrench. Yeah, yeah, but you know, that's that's the same so, so takes a bit longer but we'll get them, get them done and get get the sump on yeah so and then go home well, what time is it half seven so yeah sump on by eight yeah let's go <laughs> well, that fiddly method took uh, longer than i'd hoped but next on the uh, next task is get this windage tray under this had to be cut down quite a bit to to clear the holly sump it was 
I don't know if the instructions are only with me, but in the instructions anyway, it tells you clearly um, where you have to cut out because the sump's so shallow in the, that's the front, isn't it? Yeah. In the front there, so Phil can insert a picture of what I cut off if anyone's interested, but hopefully I've cut enough off and this is all going to clear. As you can see now, it's getting pretty dark. It's later than we'd hoped, but Craig was nice enough to uh, stay and help me just finish this bit. So the baffle thing is installed in the sump. Everything's thread locked. I guess the only thing left to do is stick it on and do it up. I'll just say today that you don't, these gaskets in theory don't put any seal on them, but we've had quite a lot of like, you know, you know, like callbacks and stuff that, you know, from the fact that the leak and we've used new gaskets and a can leak, you're supposed to do around the edges anyway. And we just put like literally the tiniest little bit along there, just next to nothing really. They're normally good then. It does mean we take the gasket off. It, it's wrecked. They're pretty much wrecked, but I wouldn't normally reuse them anyway. Supposedly you can, but... They're not mega money anyway, are they? No, they're like 30 quid new, just, 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 just no point. Or 10 up in China them. if you want to Well, see. whatever, yeah. Uh, right, on with that. Yeah. Uh, got that in, got that in. Those are all done up, aren't they? Yeah. When you put these on, you have to make sure the back of the, the sump's level with the back of the blocks, there's no alignment um, pegs on them. Yeah, because that box, the gearbox, you just need to put a straight edge up there and make sure that's level. Right. Because okay. if it overhangs forward, it does a bit. It can pull it back and crack it or, or damage it. So. I'll just make a mess. Got my special bolt out of the engine stand. It's on the floor somewhere. Cool. I thought you were tidying up. I was starting. It's home time now. But I, I was getting excited about having a little drive with this steering wheel. Why should we just flip the engine over now because I haven't got that thing in? But do, 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 It's going to do all the power of that, isn't it? Yeah. With some boost. With some boost. Everything's better with boost. Everything's better with boost. Every cam's a boost cam. Doing some more tomorrow night? Yeah, we'll have some heads on. Yeah, followers. Heads and then ready to go really. Then it's time to demolish the car, but yeah. Just looking at the puddle of oil on the floor. <laughs> well fast forward to the next it morning. Was oily, but yesterday all right, all right, all right. It just goes straight through the ball onto the floor. I watched him on YouTube, he said you can't put too much oil in when you're doing no, the pistons. It went on the floor, it didn't go in the engine. It went through the engine onto the floor. Anyway. I like that. It's, a bit like, it's a bit like a Ford engine, it just squirt it straight through the balls. Alright, that's what I'm used to. Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna call this video done here. We have a bottom end together. It goes round, pistons go up and down, and um, I'm gonna carry on tonight, but I think Phil wants to finish the video, so thanks for watching. Follow the company at Driftworks, follow Uncle Craig at Dino Talk, and me, and stay safe, we'll see you next time. At Driftworks, we've helped over 50,000 happy customers since 2004. Our huge online parts store is simple to use with superb shipping rates to anywhere in the world and finance options available for UK customers. We live and breathe wheel fitment, so if you have any questions about your own car or any of our products before placing an order, please drop us an email at shop at driftworks.com or give us a call. Thanks for watching.